We're going to go over the macro I used to get the hypercore and the claw and never run out of respawn tomes. Hello, plebs. It is Sister Card here. Hopefully, having a great day. I'm having a great day. We're back today in Pet Catchers, and I've had a request from several members of my communities to show them my lovely macro that I use to do the claw and to do the lovely hypercore to basically never run out of tomes and also to build some so that I can use them for the events. So I'm gonna break this video down into chapters. We're gonna kind of explain different stuff. So if you just want the macro, in the section named macro, you can go check out what I've done. I'll explain it as I do it. There you go. But if you haven't already, please make sure you smash, smash, smash the level like button, do the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it being a lot. Let's get running into it. For those of you not aware, the best way to farm anything currently for gems and for our lovely tokens is to go fight the big hypercore. There's been several people making videos on how to macro the hypercore. Uh, I haven't seen any videos on how to macro the claw and the hypercore. So I'm going to show you all the best way to do that. And uh, yeah, so. First things first, what you're going to need to do is make sure you're using a token team. If your token team does not have damage, make sure your damage team, or I have labeled as my high roller team on my hotbar, is down there. Now, what you're going to be doing is, one, you got to make sure you have a single ticket. So when I set up my macro, we're going to go to the claw first, and then we're going to go to the boss. And there's a few things you need to know prior to starting this. What you need to know is if you go over here to the boss, let's go ahead and reset him real quick. I'm gonna put him up to 25. The reason I am putting him up to 25 is because he drops more rewards at 25 and you are gonna be able to replenish your books quicker. This is not the best method for farming gems or tokens. You need to have them at level one and doing them over and over again. Now you are gonna need a macro, tiny task, several different auto clickers I know have this system you can do them in, something, dealer's choice. Be safe if you're downloading anything off the internet. Okay, there you go. So what you're going to do is you need to time how long it takes you in the boss. Uh, Crowden had a good video on this. Crowden? 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 I don't know. I put his links in my videos before. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in. I'm going to record how long it takes me to beat the boss. So we're going to speed this part up. I will let you all know if there's anything I'm going to be speeding up. Uh, it will be in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. But there'll be a little X button just so you're aware. I am going to run my macro for a full hour. So Y'all can see the rewards I get. This is actually a really good time right now because I'm not getting too many crits. So this is actually good. All right, so it took it roughly about 45 seconds to defeat it. So I need about 50 seconds. So I need to know that number for when we start the macro. The other thing for the macro, you need to make sure you are facing. I would recommend facing basically this way where you're facing the shrub right there. So what you're going to do to start the macro is you start your macro. I'm going to walk you through the whole thing and then we'll record it and then we'll play it. You're going to need the map. So this is going to be a third talent up you can get in the talent tree. You do need the map. What you're going to do is you're going to click the map first at the start of your recording. I'll just go ahead and hit record just so y'all can get the experience. So you're gonna hit this a few times. The reason we're doing this is the hypercore boss on occasion will kill you or you'll despawn through the floor. This is to help get you back up because you'll respawn in pet park. So this is to help get you back up to the hyperwave arcade. So we're gonna go ahead and hit teleport. From here, we are now starting up here. Now we're gonna go take a walk. I'm gonna move to the right, move straight down, move to the right. Move straight down, get it to where you just can get the E in frame. We're going to go ahead and activate our ticket. Let's go ahead and do the claw. Now the claw recording is always going to be difficult because this is based off your ping if there's any server lag. So try and get it directly in the middle as much as you can. So we're going to go ahead and do the claw real quick. Let's speed this up. Now, if you do not see your MLG pet, the pet that you use for the activities in that little row, you are going to have to type in their name and then you can click on them from there. I do know Tiny Task will record if you're having to do that. Mine happens to be on the very bottom right hand corner, so it makes it slightly easier for me. Okay, when you're done, my big recommendation, make sure your hand or your little mouse is very far to the right and you go up. This is in case you get more or less than what you're already getting. If you do happen to activate the robot screen, that's fine. Go ahead and hit X. The next button you're going to hit is we're going to go back and we're going to teleport back again. So go ahead and double click, double click, double click and hit teleport. Now we're going to go to the boss. 
So let's go for a walk. This you're just going to follow down the middle of the red carpet as best of your abilities allow. Now we're going to go and hit this, hit this, hit start boss. Now there is a bug with the boss that if you right click, it will freeze your screen. So as y'all can see on the recording, it is actually, my timer is still going. The game is frozen right now for whatever reason. If you do this, the bosses, you can attack them. They will not attack you. I can let go. See, I'm in the middle of the lake. I'm going to right click it again so it'll stop. So we're going to hold that until, remember that 50 seconds we recorded earlier. So we're going to wait for that 50 seconds to roll on by. This recording is not going to be our true recording. I'm going to re-record it in a minute because this is a lot slower because I'm talking through a lot of it. And I didn't like how I was set up for the arcade. So we'll go ahead and release here. Should be done. Yep. Make sure it is roughly after that recording you got earlier. Add five to 10 seconds and that should be your key. Now we're over here. You're going to start at that second row right here. If you get three rows of stuff and we're just going to click right on down. Keep clicking and then you enter your recording. There you go. Nice and easy. Now I'm going to go record my actual one. I am going to speed this up just for clarity because the video is already very long as it is. There you go. I would not recommend doing this on a mount, by the way, because it will mess up your speed. So just walk it. Get your steps in for the day. There we go. Recorded. There was a little bit in there I could have optimized. Um, I didn't need to step away from the arcade machine, but... Mm. Let me double check that this is currently working and I don't need to re-record it. So let me proof it real quick. My proofing gave us a prismatic egg. Let's go. Also, you can run the arcade booster during this and I would recommend doing so. I would recommend running token buffs. I would recommend running the arcade buffs so you can get legendary items because we're also looking for respawn tomes that's kind of the main thing all right it seems to run fine which is good i'm gonna get set up real quick and we're gonna run this for an hour all right so this is gonna run a total of 20 times so we have 65 tomes to start with let's see what we end up with at the very very end
Alrighty. So we have entered our last one. It has been a full hour already. Let's go ahead and see what the total tabulation was between gems, tokens, and respawn tomes. So in that hour, I got 2.2 billion tokens. Probably about 31,000 gems, which is not great. It's not bad. And respawn tomes, we got seven up after burning through all of them while we were playing. Also, got 341 legendary cubes, which we can use to go turn back into tomes, tokens, and gems. And that doesn't include any runes that we've gotten. Now, I want to comment. This method is to be sustainable long term. Like, doesn't matter what you're doing. Would it be better if I just used all of my lovely prismatic tomes to go around and buy everything? Absolutely. However, if you're looking for something that is sustainable and you don't run out, and that way you can start building slowly for like those fortune events you see behind me, yeah. I honestly like this way. You also can go fishing if you're wanting to get tomes, but that can take some time. So honestly, I, I prefer doing like this. I can AFK simply overnight. Even if I fail at the boss, the boss bugs out for me. I am now able to do the claw overnight. I will give you all a bit of a warning. This is a warning. Every time you rejoin a server, the server updates. Or it has been a long time since you have run the macro. You are going to have to redo it. I've tried several times with this using an old set macro. I've had to redo it several times. So you, it's, it's not perfect. Mostly because it has to deal with the claw. And if Hypercore starts bugging out. So I do want to kind of give those as big warnings for y'all. That you do frequently have to redo this macro. But I mean, it works well. It's not bad. I get plenty of goodies I need. So, there you go, plebs. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully my server, server mates are happy and my Discord people have been asking me about my macro, how it works. Why, why I do what I do with it. So, there you go. Hopefully you have a good day.